Altima No Man's Sky. There are many ways to do it, but this one is mine. Welcome to Gamer Poets. Open the No Man's Sky game folder. Open Game Data, PC Banks. Delete the disabled mods text file. Can't see the .txt? Watch this video. You need to have your file extensions revealed to mod this game. And mods can now be used. Keep this folder open for the next step. Still in PC Banks, right click in the folder. New Folder. Name it Mods. This is where mods are installed. Right click it. Send to Desktop. Rename the folder on your desktop so you know what it is. I call mine Mod Install Folder. Create another folder. Name it Mod Storage. Create a third folder. Name it AMUMSS. This is what we have so far. Next, head over to the A Mums GitHub page. Link in the description. From the latest release, download the 7-zip file. Open it. Open the AMOMS folder that we created on the desktop. Drag and drop the archive's contents inside. Find and launch the buildmod.bat. When asked about updating, push Y for yes. Any key to close. Continue to relaunch and close the buildmod.bat file over and over until the program is finally fully updated and the other files and folders appear. Still in AMOMS, right click the mod script folder. Send to desktop. Name it Lua Mods. Right click the Mod Extra Files to Include folder. Send to desktop. Name it Mod Asset Files. The last folder to create is for organization. New folder. Name No Man's Sky Modding. Highlight the previous five folders that we created. Drag and drop them into it. This will keep things clean and easy to manage. Finally, Open the provided .NET Runtime x64 link. Under the 5.0 desktop runtime, click x64 to download it. Run the installer and follow the prompts. This is needed for a mums to work correctly. Now that we're ready to install some mods, open your No Man's Sky modding folder. Next, head over to Nexus Mods. Open any mod page you like. Open files. Manually download a mod. Open the archive. The files contained within will determine how to install it. If a mod only contains a .pack file, drag and drop the pack into the mod install folder. That's it. These mods will appear in game right away. Close the archive. Put the archive in your mod storage folder to have a backup of it. If a mod contains a .lua file and a .pack file, only drag and drop the lua file into the lua mods folder. Ignore the .pack file completely. You don't need it. Close the archive. Put it in your mod storage folder. These mods won't appear in game until we perform the a mum step. Now, if a mod contains additional folders, such as what you see here. First, same as before. Take care of the .pack or Lua files. Then drag and drop the extra folders into mod asset files. Close the archive. Put it in storage. So, we have installed some mods and we're ready to see them in game. It's time to run a mums. This process combines all of the files that we put into Lua mods and mod asset files into one big mod. Without getting too technical, this helps to prevent crashes and stability issues. Right click the AMOMS folder and open it in a new window. Launch buildmod.bat. If you are asked about updating again, push Y. If you are asked about what mode to use, push F for full. Do you want to include them in the created pack? Push Y. Do you want to create a combined or individual mod? Push Y. Do you want to use a composite name? Push N. Do you want to use a numeric suffix? Up to you, but I push N. 
Would you like to copy mod packs to your game folder? Push N. Now, allow it some time to complete. Push any key to close. Still in A mums, open builds. This is the merged mod that was just created. Drag and drop it into the mod install folder. Now you're done and ready to play. Dot pack files go into the mod install folder unless there is a Lua file. If there is a Lua file, place it in the Lua mods folder and ignore the dot pack file altogether. Place all other folders in the mod asset files folder. Run a mums. When the process is completed, open builds. Place the merged mod, which is a single dot pack file, into the mod install folder. Done. Once I test the game out and see that everything is working, I go back and clear out the builds folder, mod asset files, and Lua mods folders in case I want to run a mums again later. If things aren't working in game, I can delete the mods in the mod install folder and start fresh without worrying about re-downloading anything because I placed the original mod archives in my mod storage folder. On the second time around, eliminate some mods that do similar things because there is likely a conflict that can't be resolved somewhere. Then start the mod installation process over from the beginning. There are other ways to mod this game, but I found this to be the most efficient. There are even more technical things that you can do, but this is more than enough for most of us. If you want to dive deeper, check out the Step Modifications website. It's the best place for modding information on No Man's Sky. Thanks for spending some time with me. I'll see you soon. <laughs> can't, can't, can't see the dot txt. Can't see the dot. Thanks for spending some time with me. Thanks. Oh. Thanks. Fuck. <laughs> Thanks for. <s> <laughs> okay. I think we're good. <laughs>